guys! Welcome to another video lesson with me, Mrs. Bads. And in today's video, or in this video rather, I'm gonna discuss with you how to write your theoretical framework the quick and very easy way. I'm pretty sure you've read through your modules and you haven't seen how to write a theoretical framework. Yes? Or no? <laughs> okay, this is the week of submission and yet none of you as in zero ask for mom saan ko makikita ang pagsusulat ng theoretical framework. So when we say theoretical framework, it's about um, the theories wherein your study will be anchored in. You need to look for one particular theory that would support your research paper. And that is the reason why I've asked you to start with the variables. Okay, if you really have your variables and if you have your parameters in mind, it would be easier for you to look for the theory that would support or back up your research paper. Okay? So, how to do that? Okay, here's a sample of how to look for a theory to use for your theoretical framework. Okay? So, watch this tutorial. First off, go to your search engine. Type in your variable. For example, academic performance. Go to the scholarly articles or the Google Scholar. And then, look for the title or of the of a paper that contains your variables and your parameters. So, let's say, for example, here, it contains the age, gender, behavior, and academic performance. So, let's look at this paper. And then, we will see that mm, it doesn't contain... Um, much it contains only the introduction so we don't um we cannot use this one so let's look for another article that contains the variables that we are looking and the parameters so this one how about students online learning experience and academic performance so this is about the minority students and their online learning experience and academic performance so we will see the results the findings satisfaction and use has no relationship with academic performance so this will be enough but we can look for more details when we look into the full text okay so this is the entire research paper so the abstract the introduction and the literature review but we are all but we are looking for the theory that they used so, here is a theoretical framework. So, what theory did they use? They use the stereotype threat theory. So, ayan. So, according to Steele and Arson, 1995. Ayan. So, that is the definition of the theory that they used. And, they also, um, aside from discussing the definition, they also noted some studies who used this theory in their studies, okay? So, like this one, according to Schmother, Johns, and Forbes, stereotype threat denotes a situation in which a member of group fears. Ayan. So, this one is more recent, 2008. And then, we can also see the results of the different studies there from 1997, 1999, 2006. So, you can see different results in different settings okay blacks and hispanics mathematics and females so different stereotypes right and their academic performance so now let us get into the details of these theories so stereotype threat theory copy that and then go to another search engine look for that theory look further about the theory so, look further about the theories, look for scholarly articles about it, about the application, definition, the process. You can also consider the images, how it was used in different studies and its diagrams. So, that's it. That's how you get the theory. To recap, so first is that um, we are looking for the variable academic performance online academic performance so if you've seen i just typed in academic performance and there's so many articles that come out of it via google and i only looked for the one on top the scholarly article that theory that they used was very very up 
for the research paper. So, not because online academic performance yung um, variable nyo, yan ang gagamitin yung study, ha? Look carefully dun sa um, ano yung mga parameters niya ng study niya na nagsusupport dun sa um, academic performance. So, look for a theory that would support your variables, how they are related, how they may affect one another. So, that's how you create your theoretical, that's how you look for a theory for your theoretical framework. Now, let's go to the part that you are going to write down your theoretical framework. So, here are the three things to, to note when writing down your theoretical framework. First, is that write about the theory itself. Okay, so ang haba ng theory, maraming nakasulat about that. So, just write in the author, the year that it was created, and a summary, a very brief summary, one paragraph with ten sentences will do. Okay, so anything that is about, that is important about that theory or what that theory is about, just write it down. Okay, one paragraph will do. Next is look for some studies that is relevant to your studies, meaning halos kagaya ng paper nyo. And then, ginamit din nila yung theory na yon. So, at least two studies siguro, and then write it down as a second paragraph. The third one is of how are you going to make use of the theory itself in your paper. So, make it specific and make it um, your own. Let's say, for example, the thesis is about, the theory is about um, socioeconomic status and its effect to the academic performance. So, make sure that when you write it down on your own terms, write down what are the um, parameters that you will be using to measure the socioeconomic status and the academic performance. You can also write down your settings as well. So, that's it. Ha? Three paragraphs with less than 10 sentences each. But there's a group mga five sentences will be enough for one paragraph. So, uh, isang page lang yung theoretical framework nyo. Okay? I hope you are able to get idea on an idea on how to write down your theoretical framework. Okay? So, I'll see you on the next video for your conceptual framework. Bye!